Every year, about 800,000 people in the US have a heart attack. It is the leading cause of death in the world. Heart disease can be caused by genes, but avoiding a heart attack often comes down to how much you move and what you eat. So, let's focus on the diet for a moment. In this video, we'll talk about the top three foods that can help prevent heart attack. What foods should you definitely include in your regular diet to lower your risk of heart attacks, strokes, and inflammatory diseases like Alzheimer's? Stay tuned because you're about to find out. Before we dive in, can you do us a favor? Please help us spread the word about heart disease prevention by clicking on the thumbs up icon below the video and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. We want to make sure you get the latest information so you can live a long, healthy life and stick around to find out how to get two heart-healthy free gifts. We guarantee both you and your heart will love them. Now, join us as we investigate the foods that are good for your spirit as well as your cardiovascular system, starting with number three, berries. Berries are full of powerful antioxidants like anthocyanins, which protect the heart and cardiovascular system from inflammation and oxidative stress, two main things that cause heart attacks. Studies show that berries have these benefits because they slow down the activity of enzymes that break down carbohydrates and help increase the production of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a strong neurotransmitter that relaxes blood vessels and improves blood flow. This can help lower the risk of heart attack in a big way. Studies have shown that eating berries regularly can lower total cholesterol and may even stop LDL cholesterol from becoming oxidized in the body, which is a major risk factor for heart disease. This is mostly because berries have a lot of fiber. According to research, eating berries regularly can help lower glucose levels after a meal and make the body more sensitive to insulin. This is mostly because berries are high in fiber and have a lot of vitamin C. Did you know that vitamin C is also an antioxidant that helps control blood sugar? Regular vitamin C consumption has also been shown to raise antioxidant levels in the blood, which can help fight inflammation and reduce the risk of heart disease. Overall, a lot of research has been shown that berries can reduce systolic blood pressure, improve body mass index, BMI, decrease inflammation, improve how insulin works, and lessen the chances of getting a heart attack. All berries that are dark blue or purple are a great source of anthocyanins. Mulberries, a particular kind of berry, have more than most. You can see why if you cut open a mulberry and a blueberry. The blueberry's inside is pale and green, while the mulberry's inside is dark. Every mulberry is full of anthocyanins. Also, most berries have less protein than mulberries and the quality of these proteins is just as good as that of milk and meat. They also have more polyunsaturated fatty acids than any other berry, and their fiber content is a whopping 11.75%. Mulberries are not sour because they are full of chemicals called alkaloids. Alkaloids that come from plants are being looked at as possible anti-diabetic drugs, and mulberries work well as a way to treat diabetes on their own. When mulberry extract was given to rats, their fasting glucose levels dropped from 252 mg per deciliter on day one to 155 mg per deciliter after just five weeks. But we're leaving out a very important thing, the taste. Everyone loves how rich and sweet a ripe mulberry tastes. It tastes great as a snack and is a nice addition to your probiotic yogurt for breakfast. At the end of the day, you want to eat foods that make you feel good, right? Our next item on the list is a bit unexpected. Number two, beans. Beans are not only a tasty ingredient that can be used in many different meals, but they are also full of nutrients that are good for your heart. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that nutritionists think beans are one of the best foods for lowering the risk of heart disease. In fact, 
A National Library of Medicine study from 2007 showed that eating a half cup of pinto beans every day can lower heart disease biomarkers. So what are they hiding? Beans, like berries, have a lot of polyphenols, which are antioxidants that can help reduce oxidative stress. They give you folate, also called vitamin B9, which is important for making red blood cells. They also have a number of other helpful B vitamins, which have been shown to reduce inflammation and raise levels of HDL cholesterol, which is good for your heart. Beans are a great source of both magnesium and potassium. Magnesium can help regulate blood pressure, and potassium can help get rid of too much sodium in your body, which can help lower your blood pressure. Beans have carbs, but they also have a lot of fiber, which helps keep your blood sugar level. In fact, a cup of black beans give you more than 100% of your daily fiber needs. The insoluble fiber in beans helps your gut stay healthy and can help you get rid of constipation, while beans soluble fiber slows down digestion, which not only helps glucose levels after a meal, but also makes you feel fuller faster. This can lower the chance of being overweight which in turn lowers the chance of having a heart attack. And the soluble fiber in beans binds to cholesterol in the digestive system, stopping it from getting into the bloodstream. So, a recent study in the Canadian Medical Journal found that eating beans every day can lower the bad LDL cholesterol by 5% and lower the risk of heart disease by 6%. Multiple scientific studies have found that beans can reduce inflammation, improve cholesterol levels, make the body more sensitive to insulin, lower blood triglycerides, and lower blood pressure. So yes, a hill of beans can add up to a mountain of heart health. If you want to lower your blood pressure, kidney beans are one of the best legumes to eat. Your body gets a lot of good things from kidney beans. Protein, antioxidants, minerals, and fiber. It's not a secret thing that being overweight can cause serious health problems, including a rise in blood pressure and the chance of diabetes complications. Several studies showed that kidney beans are very good at getting rid of starch because they have a lot of plant protein and fiber, and because of this, can help diabetics in many ways. To help the body digest food and get rid of waste, it's important to eat a lot of fiber and protein. It also makes it take longer for sugar to get into the blood. Researchers found that LDL cholesterol and total cholesterol levels can be lowered by a lot when you eat fiber-rich legumes like kidney beans. More research has also shown that people with diabetes who eat kidney beans can lower the amount of sugar in their blood. There are up to 8.7 grams of protein and 6.4 grams of fiber in 100 grams of kidney beans. So go ahead and start eating kidney beans if you want to keep your blood pressure under control. But make sure you cook them right, as kidney beans can sometimes make your stomach feel funny. Now, let's move on to the top one of our list of foods that reduce your risk of a heart attack. Number one, green leafy vegetables. Sure, this one might not be a total shock. Most people know that green leafy vegetables are good for your health. But did you know that they are especially good for the health of your heart? When we say green leafy veggies, we're talking about kale, spinach, arugula, bok choy, and collard greens. Leafy greens are also a great way to manage diabetes and keep it from getting worse. Since they have complex carbs and a lot of fiber, you can eat a lot of them without worrying about your blood sugar going up. There are two kinds of fiber, those that dissolve in water and those that don't. Soluble fiber can be broken down in water. It breaks down in the colon, which is part of the gut. This slows down the digestive process, which means it also helps you keep a healthy weight. Insoluble fiber, on the other hand, doesn't break up as it moves through your body. This keeps your intestines healthy and makes it easier to go to the bathroom. Both of these kinds of fiber can be found in leafy greens. Leafy greens are also a great source of plant-based protein, which makes you feel full and slows down digestion, which is another great way to keep your blood sugar from going up. 
Also, most green leafy vegetables have a wide range of other nutrients and antioxidants that help prevent diabetes and heart disease. These include folate, potassium, and vitamin C. Leafy greens are also high in vitamin K, which is needed for blood to clot and for healthy arteries. They also have a lot of vitamin A, which protects the surface of the eye and helps the immune system stay healthy. Also, leafy greens have a lot of nitrates in them. Inside the body, these chemicals are changed into nitric oxide, which makes the blood vessels bigger. Research shows that eating foods high in nitrates can help lower blood pressure, make arteries less stiff, and improve how well they work. So, it's not surprising that multiple studies have shown that leafy greens are good for your body in a lot of different ways, like helping your bowels, making you sleep better, protecting your skin from UV rays, improving your eyesight, and, of course, helping you lose weight. And it shouldn't be a surprise that eating leafy greens is linked to a 16% lower risk of heart disease and heart attacks. Dietitians and doctors say that vegetables should make up half of every meal. So, go ahead and eat a lot of green leafy vegetables, which are very healthy for your heart and very nutritious. So, there you have it, the top three foods to eat to lower your risk of heart attacks. So we had berries, beans, and veggies with a lot of leaves. What are your favorite foods that are good for your heart? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to claim both of your free gifts by clicking the link in the description below. Stay tuned to Heart Disease Code for more helpful tips and insights to improve your well-being. And before you go, make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to our channel. We want to keep making informative research-based videos for you. So if you got value from this video and would like more of it, you can send us a super thanks by clicking the thanks button at the bottom of this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a heart-healthy day.